Okay, my name's Kevin Pipe. I'm from Canterbury, Northfield, New Hampshire. And stone walls is a big tradition in New Hampshire and it has been for hundreds of years. Most of my work is residential, but some is commercial, like an entryway for a, a corporation. But most of it is uh, walls that were built when people first came over here a couple hundred years ago, and it's now repairing those walls. When the Europeans came to New England, uh, like from Scotland, Ireland, and England, they brought some of their traits with them, and they started to clear the land to build farms and have their animals and build their homes. They quickly found that New Hampshire was full of rocks. And they tried to plow, and they just kept pulling up rocks, so they thought, well, how can we get these out of the field? So they'd use oxen and horses with a stone boat, and they'd drag them to the edge of the field once they got it cleared. And as they plowed, they began to use the stones and stack them in a way to make a stone fence. And that kept the animals in, or it might have been a boundary on their property. If you go through New Hampshire today, what once was all uh, farmland or open space is all now wooded. New Hampshire is the second most forested state in the country and as you walk through you'll see trees this big where once there might have been a cow grazing. So you'll see walls, there's miles and miles of stone walls all through the woods and people often ask well how'd they get the stones in the woods but that was open space. So we are uh, really noted for our stone walls in New Hampshire.